Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Just kidding, you all suck. Now if you're one of my subscribers, you may be a little bit worried. And if you're not one of my subscribers, then change that right away, please. Come on. We're all waiting. I say that you're probably worried because since I uploaded my last two videos on Nikocado Avocado, I've been in my first ever YouTube scandal. Nikocado Avocado goes too far with shocking video. I was gonna make a joke about how terrifying that title makes this whole situation sound, but in all honesty, as soon as I saw that I was the subject of a tea video, I actually struggled to sleep. So I've officially learnt my lesson, okay? Today we will not be looking at porn. I know, I know, fun's not allowed anymore, apparently. With that being said, Trisha Paytas is probably one of my favorite influencers. Now to clarify here, I don't think she or or the character she portrays is a good person. In fact, I'd say that every single thing she does serves to piss people off. And it works. A lot of people aren't really a fan of hers. If 2020 was a person, it'd be Trisha Paytas. You know what? I'm going to disagree with you there because 2020 has been an anti-climax of sorts. And I can assure you that if there's one thing that Trisha does consistently, it's climaxing. Today, I'd like to go through some of my favorite slices of the Trisha Paytas pie. And no, not in a sexual way, okay? Again, I've learnt my lesson. But before we do that, why, why is there honey on my desk? Well, it's funny you should say that, James. Yes, that's right. Today's video is sponsored by the lovely people over at Honey. I'm actually a very big fan of Honey in general. Here I am with my Manuka Honey. Very good for the immune system, but that's beyond the point. Honey is a free online shopping tool that helps you find coupons and then applies them to your cart. You know that one time that you bought pizza and now your phone constantly gets texts like, oh, use code we are annoying for 20% off. Block that number, okay? You don't need them anymore. Honey scans all possible promo codes on the internet for you. All you need to do is click apply coupons and bam, have a pizza that. Recently Recently, I've been trying to make more music and I actually bought a new bass. Oh wait, that's not gonna work, is it? Now one issue arose after buying this bass. Um, I can't play bass. <laughs> so I decided to get a subscription at Fender Play and once again, Honey got me money off of that subscription. And it supports over 30,000 stores. So in no time, you'll be saving too. And maybe you can learn to play bass like me. Again, Honey is free to install. If you don't have it already, you're passing up on free money, essentially. And installing it only takes two clicks. So get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com forward slash James. That's joinhoney.com forward slash James. And thank you, Honey, for sponsoring today's video. Now, as I said, Trish has been in many a controversy as of late. She recently made this rather questionable tweet. Had a cookie, now a little nookie, a night's out, babies. Try not to make babies, or maybe we'll try. God, I can't imagine anything worse. I'll be honest, I've got no clue what this tweet actually means. It's probably written in fucking Yiddish. But she has posted this one wonderful photo with it. I don't really know what there is to say about it. Lenny Kravitz called. He wants his flaming hot Cheetos back. Clearly he wants to rub them all over his fucking mop. I just clicked on a Trisha Paytas video for the first time in months and I, you can even see her actual hairline here. What did you do, Trisha? Dip it in the bloody sauce? Papa John's very own hair dye. I love the difference between her last two thumbnails. Oh, nothing much happened between these two days. Just had a bath in boiling Kool-Aid. It would be like if I shaved before my next video and didn't even mention it. Sorry, I really shouldn't joke about that. By this point, beardless James married it is even my sleep paralysis demon and I feel incredibly triggered. I've watched a portion of the video and her hair goes completely unexplained, but it's kind of hard to pay attention to her hair when there's a mountain dude the size of a fucking tank right next to her. <gasps> okay, so the idea, the concept of this is to try all the different sauces. Obviously, I don't love sauces, but I eat them. I can't even begin to understand mukbang content. Trisha, where do you draw the line, dude? It's a shame, really. I don't like eating razor blades, but here I go again. <laughs> I don't think Trisha has ever actually finished a mukbang before. I mean, look how pathetic this attempt is. All right, guys. This was the Big Dipper. Trisha, man, you're a phony. You've got no integrity. She ate five pieces at most of that damn pizza. That's the equivalent of half a small pizza. That doesn't even qualify as a snack. What does she even do with all of the remaining food? Oh, wait, sorry, that's a silly question. She extracts the tomato sauce and smears it all over her fucking scalp. Again, with her hair, there are many people calling out Trisha for cultural appropriation. Do you ever get bored of cultural appropriation? Come on now, what exactly is she appropriating here? Twiglets? What's next, Trisha? Fucking cheese balls? But in all seriousness, obviously there is an argument to be made about cultural appropriation creation here. But it's hard to really take that seriously when whatever she's done to her hair here is compared to what she does on a weekly basis at this point. Basically what I'm trying to say is, is this is a mere drop in the ocean. An ocean that makes you want to drown yourself, but an ocean nonetheless. If you type in Trisha Paytas drama on YouTube, it's like staring directly into the sun. Actually, I've got the perfect tool for this occasion. Look, it's got a UV rating and everything. This is just proof that I'm going to be part of the 27 Club. No one can handle the sheer amount of content that Trisha's been gifting to drama channels. She shoots out tea faster than a fucking AR-15 at this point. Sorry, I've never really mentioned 
guns on this channel before. God, it's really bright. But I looked at my statistics here on YouTube and apparently a bunch of you are American. So I feel like I should be making more accurate cultural references and speaking in a language that you all actually understand. Big gun shoot big bullet fast. <laughs> Alright, I need to talk about this. I have no idea if this is real or fake, but Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein from h 3 h 3 Productions have had this ongoing beef for so long now. It all began almost a year ago when Ethan made his Instagram versus reality video. As you can see from the thumbnail, Trisha was a big target in this video. And by that, I mean that she was one of the focuses, not that she's, you know, a, a big old target. She was offended that Ethan spent the entire video calling her and other influencers ugly. In fairness to Ethan, he did call everyone else in the world ugly as not directly attack anyone in particular. But I'm just glad that everyone is starting to realize that how attractive you are has nothing to do with your looks or personality. It's simple, really. The more languages you speak, the more attractive you are. Where's my degree? I'm showing it in the hopes that one day I can business expense it. And for the record, that caps at three languages, okay? Because if you know more than three languages, you're just a loser. But what's the first thing you do if someone calls you ugly? I'm waiting, okay? It's an easy one. The first thing that you do is you sleep with her brother-in-law before the lockdown. Yes, that is Ela's brother. Bit of a snack, mind you. I don't know how anybody could argue that we don't live in a simulation. In what world does Ela Klein's brother thinks it's a good idea to sleep with Trisha Paytas? The whole world has shut down and I've been forced to watch this cursed love story play out and I'm loving it. I'm sucking it up like a desperate little fucking hoover. She's even making happy Passover tweets. Maybe there's some spiritual meaning in holding up, what is that, a red onion? This is all coming from the creator of I Love You Jesus, Jesus Rises, a Jesus Bop and a Christmas Jesus Bop. She even had a channel dedicated to Catholicism and now she's claiming to be Jewish because she got dicked down by someone from Israel. And she is claiming to be Jewish, by the way. I too am Jewish by insemination. You know what? I'm struggling to hate on this, if I'm being honest. The girl got some premium dick. Dick that makes you want to change your culture is the kind of dick I need in my life. Clearly she also made love to a Mormon because apparently that's on the cards now as well. Possibly converting to Mormonism? Hmm. I tried to find some famous Mormons online to see who the culprit is, but the only person I could find is Bill Marriott. Of course, the man who stole my entire brand before I was even alive has had an affair with Trisha Paytas. Can today get any worse? She's made some ridiculous videos recently. I'll teach you Hebrew, the alphabet. Surely this has to be the most disliked educational video of all time. And in fairness, it's deserved. It's one of the worst educational videos I've ever seen. So like, hey, sounds American, like an American word or an English word, I should say. Hey, sounds American. English, sorry. But chet, there's no ch, there's no, there's not that in English. Who would have thought it? Different languages sound different. What's for homework today, Miss Trisha? Go get dicked down by a Latin art throb. Uh what? The only person who's supposedly learned a lot since this video is Trisha herself. I say that because now she even puts Hebrew in her titles, as you can see here. Go down, Moses. Way down to Egypt. She's singing the song, Go Down Moses here. You know, go down Moses, go down on Moses. Does everything you do have to be about sex, Trisha? Just how sizable is this Moses guy? I've never seen anyone more hypnotized than Trisha is. I found a tweet where Trisha shouts out one of Moses' YouTube videos. Please check out this video on global consciousness. Things that make you go, whoa. Things that make you go, whoa. Sounds like we got a brainiac over here. Sorry, that was the most boomer reference I think I've ever made. I actually think I just aged about 10 years. Look, I promise I'm young and relatable. Look, I've even got TikTok installed. Look, it's it's uh, TikTok. I'm not close to my 30s, I promise. Welcome back to Channel Water. Today we're going to talk about the situation that the majority of us are in. Quarantined. Sorry, um, what's this video? Why is the camera on? Why, why am I erect? He looks like a version of Aragorn that aged like a fine wine and I just want to drink a gallon of it. No wonder he's called Channel Water. I'm a man and even my waves are crashing. The video itself isn't really an enticing topic. It certainly didn't interest me that much, but that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. There's only one reason I'm coming back to this channel and that's for daddy. <laughs> he even replies to all of his comments with water related emojis. Like we get it, dude, you like water, you smoke weed. Do the wave, whoosh, water is awesome all around us. No one cares. <laughs> now I want to clarify, Trisha does go too far on many occasions. She's been in a lot of mental health related drama recently and I don't usually talk about serious things on this channel, but strap in, get your fucking goggles on. Mental health means a lot to me and I'm not just going to let it slide. Father James is here, everyone don't mess with mental health. Essentially, Trisha called someone with dissociative identity disorder crazy. I don't know if there's many worse things you could say to someone with a mental disorder. I'm going to show you the clip of the person she called crazy reacting to it. I watched it and I was like, oh, like she... Seems crazy, but I know that's like like.
Trish is obviously not very educated on this subject. It genuinely hurts me to see someone who's been so public about their mental health struggles be lambasted by someone with real influence over the internet. And there is that part of me that wants to say that Trisha is just a troll, which 99% of the time I think that is the case. But she gets so emotive about certain things in a way that a lot of people would really struggle to fake. Like in her response to Anthony Padilla, that's how she got a million views. Because people think that Trisha actually believes everything she's saying, which makes it something scandalous and cancelable. When in reality, I think this is just what Trisha wants. She she wants you to get upset and continue clicking on her scandalous content because deep down she knows she's not really like that. I don't think that warrants it for the record, but for me it's just such obvious bait. Dissocia did, please stop bullying us. Oh, this one went down well. When has she ever referred to herself as us before? Moses really must have split her down the middle, man. She spends this video saying that Dissocia did is targeting her and even bullying her when she was the one who called Dissocia did crazy in the first place and then also linking an exposing video in her description that claims that Dissocia did is faking her disorder. In most cases, I think Waiting for views is fine. For example, Nikocado Avocado's response to me was actually really funny. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't uncomfortable with it. Okay, you don't need to worry about me. I draw the line, however, at bait that will affect the mental health of those watching you. YouTubers really have to take mental health seriously because the amount of people that turn to YouTubers when they're struggling is immense. The amount of people that message me and everyone that I know that does YouTube about their mental health really made me realize just how important it is in all of this. And if you start making light of the subject just to bait in a few hundred thousand more views, then you really lose my respect. And you also lose what would have been a really funny laid back video about Moses the Water King. I don't know, man. It's a real shame. Now, I want you all to stay safe during this quarantine period. I know I haven't really said that yet, but I think it's a more important period than ever to stress mental health awareness. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's all have a big hug. Come on, fucking hug me. It'll be nice. God, that probably made you all very uncomfortable. <laughs> now, I've got a special gift for all of you during this quarantine period. I know that you've all been enjoying the quarantine collabs that me and my friends have been doing, so we went ahead and made a group channel. Yeah, I know that may come as a surprise. It's been a long time coming. I know I said that I wouldn't be taking a look at Trisha Paytas is only fans in this video, but that's because we actually take a look at it over on the E-Boys channel. Now go and subscribe to the E-Boys, okay? You absolute cretins. We're going to be uploading every week over there and it's some really funny stuff, I can assure you. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below if you did. Leave a comment about how cool my glasses are and do actually subscribe, okay? There are a lot of people that watch every single one of my videos that aren't subscribed to the channel yet and it really does help me a lot. So yeah, subscribe if you're new or have not done so already and I will catch you next time.